Hi, my name is Amy Bowenick. I'm the author of Congratulations on Your Divorce, The Road to Finding Your Happily Ever After, and WomenMovingOn.com. And I want to talk about dating and the importance of keeping your sense of humor through this because you have no choice. It's going to be interesting. Uh, from the girls, I just want to read something that I came across. It was pretty interesting. As I was writing the book, I found something in the newspaper that said, After 43 years, Barbie and Ken hit the skids. The vice president of Mattel stated that Barbie had had enough of Ken's broken promises. His inability to find a career outside of looking pretty in his Speedo and sitting on lounge furniture was about all she could take. As a self-sufficient career woman, Barbie's future possibilities are endless. Maybe she will become a single mother by cloning herself and a child she affectionately calls Minnie Barbie. Perhaps Barbie will choose to trade in Ken for Midge and embark on a same-sex union. With some luck, we may see Barbie wear one of her many wedding gowns to her legal lesbian wedding. You know what? Who knows? You know, we're out there dating. Will we get married? Won't we get married? You know, will we find the right one? Don't put pressure. It's just a journey. And for the guys out there, you know, I've heard so many stories. You know, I was on the Internet, and I saw this picture, and, you know, she just completely lied and showed up at the coffee house, and she's nothing like she said she was. And now, you know, I'm stuck having coffee with her. She's still a human being, so maybe... You know, she wasn't very truthful about how she looked. Okay, so maybe you'll have a good conversation and you'll meet a new friend. It's not a waste of time. You're always going to be dealing with a human being. Maybe you can make a friendship or anything's possible. So look at all these people that you're meeting as a way to hone in on your communication skills, your interviewing skills, and just really just getting better with people. So just, you know, don't go in with any expectations when you want to scream or you want to cry, try to laugh and get a better perspective. And, you know, it takes some time. And if you're looking for a relationship, it'll likely happen when you're not expecting it. But in the meantime, a lot of people say it can be painful. And I get some of that, but you know what? It's all your perspective and how you go about the dating thing. So remember, have a good time and keep your sense of humor. It's not so bad.